Good morning, Shrewd Stock Squad. Today is Sunday, March 7th, 2021. What's going on, guys? And today is Sunday, so guess what? We don't have to see red in the, uh, in the market today. We don't have to worry about our portfolio thinking. Even though I see red on this, uh, on this chart right now, that's just a reminder that <laughs> of everything that happened last week. No, no, guys. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick weekend update because I wanted to make a quick note. I've noticed something in the comment section, guys. Some of you guys are newer investors. And when I say newer, I mean you've only been investing for six months to a year. I still consider that new. Because the fact is, if you've only been investing six months to a year, you have seen tremendous growth. And I'm really happy you got into the market. I'm so happy that you guys began investing this last year because investing is probably one of the best things you could do for not just yourself, but your future generations. The problem with it, guys, is you ended up falling into many hype stocks. For example, especially many people, they got onto the Tesla train and that paid out tremendously for them. A lot of people became millionaires because of investing in Tesla last year. And the thing here is, guys, the gains that Tesla got last year, you can't expect that year after year after year. That, that, that is just not reasonable. And, the, and what you may be thinking is, oh, I'll just find the next Tesla of this year. I might just find the next Tesla of that year. Guys, you won't. Don't count on that. Do not count on the ability to, to receive enormous gains like that. This is a slow and steady process. And if you're new to investing, like I said, six months to a year, guys, what I, my whole idea is if you begin investing, you wanna find a set of few companies that you really believe in and forget just that you believe in. I want you to find companies that you use, okay? That you actually use daily. If you use Facebook so often throughout the day, consider investing in it. If you use Apple, MacBook, iPhone, AirPods, consider investing in it. You use Google, Google Maps, Google this. You see what I'm saying, guys? Start with companies that you know of and you use and you actively understand. That needs to be the bread and butter of your investment portfolio, especially if you have no other investments going on in real estate or anywhere else. Guys, that should be your, your foundation, in my opinion. And then, and then once you have some experience under your belt, then you can start pulling crap like I've been doing with, you know, a little bit more risky plays. Because let me tell you something. I can tell you all day long, I believe in Chamath. I think Clover Health is going to be a disrupting industry. It's going to be enormous. They don't have as much track record, guys, as Google. <laughs> I can promise you significantly more. I am willing to bet much more money on the fact that Google will go up in value. I have much more conviction on Google than most other companies that exist. But simply because of the fact that Google, Amazon, Facebook, you know what I'm saying, guys? These companies have been around. Not This is not to say, this is not to say that Clover is going to be a bad play or HOL or Synsonics. It's not to say any of that. But when you begin investing, guys, y you want to start with these sort of plays. Stuff that's safe, that you know of, and you can understand. And you need to understand the bigger concept, which is really why last week it would have came in big help, is this. I want you to understand how to keep having buying power. Buying power. You see... I did not purchase into many of these stocks last week that were down, okay? I didn't purchase into those stocks that were down, even though I believed in them and I know they're good companies and they're gonna do well because I, I, I made my initial investment in here and I'm not looking to add anything extra. But when I began investing, guys, every single week, I would put in extra money in this buying power. I'd have an auto pull from my bank account. And the way I got that extra money to go in, guys, is you need side hustles, all right? I'm gonna make a separate video for you. I, I, I'm gonna, that's my next thing. I wanna have a list of like, five or so that side hustles that I've done over the years that have given me consistent money and it's very easy. It's side passive income. You know what I'm saying? Everybody loves passive income. But the thing is, once you get that passive income, what do you do with it? The income needs to go into here and start working for you. You need to start viewing every single dollar that you own as like a soldier. All right. You need to start viewing it as a soldier, all right? And you're the general of, the, of this army, you know? You're commander-in-chief, you're, you're the general, you're, you're calling the shots here, guys. So what you need to make sure is every soldier has a job and it's doing its job correctly, all right? So, every, so right now, I have a lot of soldiers sitting out here in Zometica. These guys, I have 50,000 50, troops sitting out here in Zometica. These guys need to be like firing off at this enemy. They need to be holding the ground. They need to be keeping the line held, you know? Hold the line. They need to start doing this, guys. Because the fact is, every single dollar that I have is working for me. 
in, in one form or another. And now that is also not to say, I also have money in the checking account, guys. You need an emergency fund. You need safety net. Because guess what? If all your money, and for, forget all your money. If you have more money than you are willing to lose invested, it's a slippery slope. Guys, you need that safety net, in my opinion, six to 12 months. I go for 12 because quite honestly, I'd rather be on the safer side than, sorry. Realistic chances, what's the chances that you would, ne you would wipe out 12 months of your housing allowance and everything like that? Pretty slim. It's never happened in my life. It hasn't happened in many people's lives, but it has happened to some. And if that happens to you, you would rather be prepared and not surprised in that, okay? So that's what I'm telling you guys. This, I know I'm rambling a little bit in this video about this. It's just, I don't want to steer any of the newcomers in the wrong direction. If you're new here, please only pick four or five companies that you can believe in and start with that, all right? Start with that for the next six months, consistently put, consistently put buying power and buy into it every single day, every single week, whatever is comfortable with your, you know, the paycheck that you end up getting. Put it into those plays consistently, guys. And then we can work with the next plays. So for my other half of, the, uh, of, of this community that's working here, those plays which we're talking about that may be a uh, you know, little bit more volatile to go with, that's how I want to do this now. So I have the money sitting here in VST. And what I'm going to be doing is dollar cost averaging into IRO, Clover, HOL, THBR and Synsonics now and Insidious as well. So the way I want to kind of do this guys is the plays that I think are going to increase the fastest, you know, the ones that have the higher chance of doubling up in a shorter amount of time, I'm probably going to go a little bit more involved in those than some of the others, but I'm still going to average into all of them. Every day I'm going to put some money in all of them, but some are going to get more money than others. And in my opinion, the ones that are probably going to be having the quicker run-ups, you know, the ones that have the higher chance of uh, going up, HOL I think is a very good play. This, remember what I was saying about the satellite technology, this one, and the other one that they're competing with is, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, not Astro. Rocket Labs. Rocket Labs. That that's going to be merging with uh, that other comp that other spec. I have to double check the name of it. But um, those are the two competitors in that field of satellite technology. And this, to me, HOL is going to be very quick double up. And it, I don't quote me on it. Again, it's just shoot stocks. No financial advice. None of that stuff. But. Um, you know, guys, this is a SPAC, meaning your floor is really like $10. That's like typically, not to say it can't go lower, but that's typically where they are. And guys, at a price target, uh, we're a price sitting at like $13.60. You have pretty limited risk, you know, and this thing shot up all the way to $21. You know, it's, it, and they haven't even merged yet. You know what I'm saying? This is, third, it, it hit 21 without even merging. So this to me is a pretty quick double up in that play. Clover, I am telling you, Clover, if you want to stick with Clover, guys, be prepared not to see this thing hit previous, like, big numbers, like $15, $16 again. I'm mentally preparing till August, September time. I think they need a little bit more time to, to, get, its, to get its stuff picked up. And even then, you know, we, this is, Clover is a longer term play. In my portfolio on this thing, Clover, you're going to see this in my portfolio staying for, for a while. All right. I've, I've just accepted that and I'm, and I'm cool with that. Ira as well. Iro could also become a quick double up play in my opinion, uh, bec just because of the entire sector it's in. With like, it can have uh, recovery plays such as like with COVID, uh, those you know those vaccines that they're going to have to be putting out, um, and then as the country starts to reopen more, you're going to have people who are going to like food stands, colleges, campuses, uh, sporting events, all of those things. So this is a company which I think can pick up in that realm as well. So. It definitely has the potential to go up again uh, in a quicker time frame. So for me, H, but I have much better conviction on HOL. And another one is this THBR. So these to me are going to be the quicker, um, the quicker place in my opinion, because THBR is a SPAC as well, but the, they've already announced that they're going to be merging. Uh, with a semiconductor company and semiconductor guys the reason why Tesla and Neo are tanking so bad I mean there's multiple reasons why they're down obviously there's a correction and this and that but the big news was that the semiconductor shortage and this company is getting involved in that in that realm so to me this is also going to be a good play so what I'm looking to do is put a little bit more aggressively into IRO, HOL and THBR and then I'm also going to be putting 
I'm not to say I'm not going to invest, Synsonics, Clover, and Sidious. Because those plays as well, you know, we'll be thanking ourselves in a few months when we're like, wow, thank God we got into Synsonics at like the $2 mark. Because uh, this is a company which I think is going to do really well, especially this year. And I, to be quite honest, I think even in the year forward. Um, okay. So that's the plays that I have going on here. Zometica, guys, I've been getting some comments here about my price target on Zometica, where I think it could be in a year, two years. So here's the thing with Zometica, guys. Oh, sorry. Zometica, they, because of this market pullback, this correction that ended up happening, they dipped very low. You know, $1.65, guys, we haven't seen these prices in, in a long time, you know, way back in February, over a month ago. And what ended up happening because of this, because everybody was predicting a run up into Zometica, this is gonna hit like $5, $10, $20. $20. They have all these big numbers, guys. The fact is, this is a small penny stock play. Because I want you to look at their market cap. I mean, beyond just their market, here's the other thing, uh, sorry, I misspoke on that. This is still not the safest play because this company does not have a product out yet. I understand True Forma is going to be launching at the end of March, but they have not actually made money. So Zometica is actually non-profitable. They have good financial, they have, a, they have at least like a finance, they have money to last up until 2023 right now. Um, so they do have stuff and they have things in the pipeline and I understand that, but we cannot put a target of like $10 by the end of the year. And the reason being, and the reason being is because we don't know the adoption of this technology. How many veterans, uh, veterinarians will actually use True Forma? Now, with that said, my opinion of running up into March, all right, at the end of March, because we saw this run up, guys, this thing had, can make some pretty big gains like that. Uh, my idea here is this is going to hit at least the $3 mark to 3 to $5 is where I'm setting this target range for the lead up into end of March because, because of the fact that I'm expecting this correction to be done by the end of this week to early next week. That gives this this stock another like week or two to kind of have another run up again. And then you you know we've been seeing Vanguard investing heavily heavily into this. So I believe that's kind of the play I want to do with this. I'm going to hold this thing up until that time frame. I may end up just pulling out a good chunk of money leading into that run up, maybe you know up to the announcement date, things like that. Because remember what the, what the saying is in the stock market game? You buy the rumor and then sell the news. So we're, we're buying into the rumor of True Forma launching this and that. And then the news of when it drops, you know, we have, we have to kind of play it like as, as we go on that. Uh, and what we may end up doing is this. We may end up pulling out from Zometica and then putting the money back in in a week or two once we see how the product, you know, how once everybody's kind of cooled off in terms of, uh, you know, all the hype and whatnot around it. So that's kind of how I want to play this stock, guys, and I just wanted to keep you up to date on that, all right? Um, what else do we have going on? So again, guys, NEO, MP, SDPK, skills, these are long-term holds for me. I think these are gonna be solid long-term holds, so I'm no more comment on that. What else do we have? Sorry, I, I, you know, you guys asked me a lot of questions. So I'm just trying to get to all of them. Um, what else do we have going on? Airbnb, guys, another solid company. Look at this, Airbnb. I don't care what you're saying. In 10 years, we're going to be lucky to see a price like this. So, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is another good company as well. Remember what I said? If you actually use the company, there's a good chance. <laughs> there's a good chance it's actually going to do well. You know, I made this mistake too before in the past of Snapchat, you know, when this thing first launched, people, there were so many, there were so, you should have heard the news guys last year. They were like, oh, Snapchat's bankrupt. They don't even make money. They don't do this. Guys, if you use this product daily and you can see how they make money because they run ads, this and this, what, what do you think guys? You know, they said the same thing about PayPal before when it first launched, you kind of have to use you have to have a balance here, guys, between fundamentals, common sense, and technical analysis. You know, there's a balance between this whole thing. And that's kind of just how I want to play it. Um, you know, that's everything I have here, guys. You know, Bitcoin's running back up again. I have that link at the bottom, guys. If you haven't invested in Bitcoin already, consider using BlockFi. They actually pay interest on your 
a holdings and stuff like that. So you can actually earn like, I think it's up to 6% interest, you know, for the Bitcoin that you own. So it's a good play. Anyways, guys, just wanted to give you a quick Sunday morning update. Don't panic. Stay cool. This week, we're going to, we're going to dollar cost into everything that we have. And then, you know, we're going to ride the, we're going to ride the wave up again. All right. Stay happy, stay healthy. And let's get wealthy. All right. See you in the next one. Bye.